So today we're looking at the Electro Aquatic Heaters. Uh, we've got the digital model here. This is an eight kilowatt we're looking at. And we've got a four kilowatt analog model there as well. Um, so obviously the bigger the units is the bigger the kilowatts. So if you're looking at your different size units, just bear in mind the length of them for installation. Um, so they come in a range from one kilowatt up to eight kilowatts. Depending on your size, you want about one kilowatt per thousand gallons for most installations. Um, the analog control has a 1.2 degree differential, so it's pretty reliable, like pretty reliable, pretty sensitive. But the digital does offer that 0 0.5 degree differential, so much more accurate um, if that's something you require. Um, you've got your float switches here, it's an ultra reliable float switch. Um, and they can sense from uh, one cubic meter an hour um, or a thousand liters an hour um, to 17,000 liters an hour. So that's your minimum and maximum flow rates. Uh, maximum operation pressure is four bar, which is far more than anything you're going to get on your average koi pond. Uh, they have a titanium flow tube, titanium elements, so they're suitable for salt water, tropical, and obviously outdoor ponds. Um, they are IP44 rated, um, so ideally they do need installing um, away from the elements a little bit, um, protection from the rain, but they are waterproof to a certain extent. Um, they are floor mountable, as you can see from the brackets here, or you can rotate these brackets and mount them wall mounted, which is quite handy. Uh, all of them come with a 1.5 inch threaded inlet and outlet. Um, so as standard, the units flow this way. You can change the float switch so that the unit can flow the other way if you require that for your installation. Um, there's more detail about how to do that in the instruction manual on the website. Um, you've got your cable in entry gland here and you've also got a reset button here. And they come as standard with these black ABS fittings that screw in the end. Now they can take 50mm metric pipe and 1.5 inch imperial pipe. So they have a two step, um, I don't know if you can get this on the video, but two step insert. Um, so they take both types of pipe. Um, they do come with the threaded hose tails. Um, which simply screw in the end if you've uh, got a flexible pipe application. So they just screw in. Uh, we do also supply, these are additional extra, but we do also supply the male unions. Um, they simply screw in and go with the imperial pipe. We do also do metric as well if you need metric. And that is the Electro Aquatic Heater.